Hey everyone, in this video, we remember some celebrities who died on October 10. Their memories live on in our hearts, and we will never forget them. Christopher Reeve, born on September 25, 1952, and died on October 10, 2004. Before he became the star of Superman and its sequels, Christopher Reeve had several stage and TV roles. He was born in New York City on September 25, 1952. He went to school at Cornell University and the Juilliard School in New York before getting parts in the Broadway, play A Matter of Gravity with Katherine Hepburn and the soap opera Love of Life. After a two-year search, the actor became famous when he was chosen to play Superman in the movie of the same name, 1978. Because of how popular the movie was and how well Reeve played both the Man of Steel and his other persona, Clark Kent, three more Superman movies came out in 1980, 1983, and 1987. Reeve also acted in Somewhere in Time, 1980, Death Trap, 1982, The Aviator, 1985, and a TV movie version of Anna Karenina, 1985. During this time, he became interested in horseback riding. After Superman, he made movies like Noises Off, Morning Glory, and Village of the Damned, 1995. In 1995, he had an accident while riding a horse that left him paralyzed from the neck down. In 2004, he had a heart attack and died. Orson Welles, born on May 6, 1915, and died on October 10, 1985. Orson Welles was an actor, director, and writer from the United States. People know him for his fantastic work in theater, radio, and movies. He had a hard childhood. His father was an alcoholic, and when he was young, his mother died. At age 11, he went to Todd's Seminary, where his teacher, Roger Hill, taught him about the world of theater. Soon after he graduated from Todd's Seminary, he went to the UK to try out for a role. He first went on stage in Dublin when he was 16 years old. At age 18, he returned to the United States to join a repertory theater group and start a career as an actor. He made extra money by doing radio shows, and over time, he became a well-known figure on both radio and stage. But the radio was still his favorite until the end. His radio show, The War of the World, brought him to the attention of Hollywood. At first, the movie business was not kind to him, which was a shame. Even though he made great movies like Citizen Kane, at the start of his career, it took him a long time to become well-known in Hollywood. He died in an upstairs bedroom of a house in the middle of Hollywood. He appeared to have passed away from heart failure. Ken Caminiti, born on April 21, 1963, and died on October 10, 2004. Kenneth Jean Caminiti was an American baseball player who played for the San Diego Padres. In 1996, he was named the most valuable player in the National League. He had been in the major leagues for 15 years, playing for the Houston Astros, the San Diego Padres, the Texas Rangers, and the Atlanta Braves. He was inducted into the Padres Hall of Fame, and his teammates respected him for what he had done on the field and how much he loved the game. He coached Padres players in the minor leagues and helped them get to the 1998 World Series. In 2001, he played his last game for the Atlanta Braves. He went to and from jail because he used drugs and often failed drug tests. Even though he was a great player, drugs and legal problems brought his bright career to a crashing halt. On October 10, 2004, he died in New York after taking too much cocaine and heroin. Marek Rose Olivia, born on September 19, 1935, and died on October 10, 1984, Maricruz Olivia was an actress known for Orquídeas para mi Espose, Hasta el Viento, Team Miedo, and Esposa Ted Doi movies. She was also a great soap opera actress, among the most remembered can be. Her death was a cardiac arrest, but various sources assure that she committed suicide on October 10, 1984, because she suffered from pancreatic cancer, which made her very depressed. 
Thank you for watching our video and remembering those celebrities who have passed. Please subscribe to our channel to continue receiving videos like this one.